patent therapy provider Talkspace going public today through a SPAC. It's merging with Hudson Executive, Executive Investment Corporation. That SPAC is led by former J.P. Morgan Vice Chair and CFO Doug Bronstein. The transaction is valuing Talkspace at an initial enterprise value of $1.4 billion and is going to be providing the company with $250 million in capital. Joining us right now is Talkspace's CEO, Oren Frank, and Hudson Executive Capital founder and managing partner, Doug Bronstein. Uh, good morning to both of you. Uh, Oren, uh, talk to us a little bit about the SPAC process and, and what you're hoping to do uh, with these new funds. Uh, I know you had been thinking about an IPO at one point and clearly have decided to go this route. Good morning, Andrew. Um yeah, you know, first of all, we're called Talkspace, and therefore Talkspack makes a lot of sense. So that was, of course, the uh, initial consideration. But uh, uh, putting the jokes aside, uh, we were looking to dramatically expand our reach and our ability to help many more people, because this is, you know, the Everhoffs is sometimes mentioned nowadays as the second pandemic. And I, I would say that over half of Americans are complaining about, uh, um, I would say, uh, depression and or anxiety. But the real reason we went with Doug uh, is who they are as people, as a, a, I would say an organization that is very much aligned with what we wanted to achieve, also known as chemistry. It was essentially a decision about the people uh, at the end of a very long process uh, and, and kind of fun. Doug, so uh, you are clearly on the search for a company like this. Um, how did you land on Talkspace? And tell us about what you think this company can look like in the coming years. Yes. So good morning, Andrew. And um, we're incredibly excited to be partnering with Oren and Roni and the entire Talkspace management. Um, as you know, we set up our SPAC looking for businesses that have sustainable competitive advantage and can get there through technology. And what's unique about the business that Oren and Roni have built is that it is a purpose-built technology company really designed to meet the unmet medical needs in behavioral health. And it does so by improving access. It actually reduces cost to the consumer. It improves outcomes. And it's a really powerful platform for clinicians and payers. So we think this is, in this environment, really where the future of behavioral health and clinical health will be. And obviously, the pandemic has not only accelerated the issues around behavioral health, but it has made clear that a telehealth, behavioral health platform that's digital in nature is really the perfect future to treat uh, patients and consumers. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.